Setting the ISO is very simple and it can be done in any one of the more creative modes such as manual, shutter priority, aperture priority, and program. You have no control over ISO in the automatic mode and a few of the scene modes such as portrait, landscape, sport, and so on also will not give you access to ISO. So to change your ISO, it's very simple. Press the ISO button right here and choose the ISO of your choice. I know a lot of people like to use the intelligent ISO and that's fine. Press set. You can see down here I have intelligent ISO selected, but be aware that if you're using the intelligent ISO in the program mode, you will not have control over the aperture and shutter speed. So if you've seen some of my videos and I show you how to shift the program settings, just note that intelligent ISO will not allow you to do that. And therefore, what I normally recommend is pressing the ISO button and choosing one of the fixed ISO settings, such as 100 or 200 for daylight situations or 400 and up for nighttime or indoor situations. Once you've made your selection, go ahead and press set to accept and escape this menu. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.